G'day bloody dickheads, vaping bloody bogan, back again for another dinky die review in a new location. Welcome to the new fucking set. I am finally settled and set up here in Litchfield, England. We got the house, we got the fucking new studio. Got a few bits and pieces from home, a few posters. Uh, that I brought over and uh, stack up on the wall. So hopefully you like the new fucking surroundings. No fucking skateboards, I know if you're asking. Uh, just too expensive to ship all the way from Australia over here. So they are uh, in storage for uh, you know maybe one day when we return. But uh, for now, this is the new fucking digs. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Let us know in the comment section what you fucking think. So this is the uh, the very first review in the new studio. I thought I'd kick things off with something pretty tasty. It is probably, yeah, definitely my unicorn mod. Uh, the mod that I have always fucking wanted or from the modder that I've always uh, wanted to try and uh, yeah, not really in my budget. Uh, so uh, yeah, if you like a penny pinch and cheapy, this one maybe isn't for you, but uh, you may enjoy a bit of fucking vape porn. It is from Geppetto, and it is the Flow, F-L-O. It is utilizing the new Simi system from Hussar, which is uh, basically sort of a, a re-tweak of a Boro system. Uh, no longer bridging the positive and negative terminals that you usually have on a Boro mod, this fucker, uh, is all connected at the base. Positive and negative is down in here. There's no bridge. As you can see, this tank is just all open. Now, I will be doing uh, a review on the Hassar C1, which is the you know creator of the Simi system, but uh, I will kick things off actually with something real special. So we're gonna get to the creator of the Simi system very soon, but it is the same principle and it allows you or modders to kind of do their own thing. The tank itself can really be any fucking shape you like. The Simi system really is all in the connection down here in the base of the tank. Uh, you can make the mod whatever shape you like, you can make the tank whatever shape you like. And Geppetto have done a glorious fucking job of this guy. I mean, look at it, it's beautiful. Holds eight mils of liquid with a big bridge, uh, a bit more with a bridge like this. I've got the uh, Mob Ultra in here, a real small, slim, a thin little bridge, so you're probably getting more like nine or even a bit more, but you're gonna get at least eight mils of liquid because yeah, you can do whatever you like with the tanks. There are even bigger semi tanks out there for different mods, but the wood really is the fucking shining fucking light in this uh, glorious, just stunner of a mod. Beautiful wood with this uh, purple acrylic. It's got the DNA 60C in there. We're gonna get down and have a fucking real good look at this thing shortly, but just have a look at that. Absolutely fucking gorgeous. So we're gonna go through all the bits and bobs and uh, run you through how the Simi system works. Uh, in principle, it's the same on any mod that uses it, but it does give a lot of freedom to the modder to kind of do whatever they want with the shape of their tank. Uh, and it also improves things like connection, uh, not bridging terminals anymore, having everything actually threaded in the base. Let's take for a little rip -roo. Now I've got a uh, 0.8 ohm coil in here, a MTL Alien running at uh, 20 watts. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this particular uh, semi design, not all of them, but this one by Geppetto, uh, has a quite short tank. So it actually requires a shorter chimney than what you would use in your normal Mob Ultra bridge, which is supplied by you know Geppetto. So you choose your bridge and they give you the, uh, the, the chimney to match the bridge you want. That shorter chimney uh, does actually give you a little bit of a flavor boost, a little bit of extra flavor there because you've got less distance for the vapor to travel up to your gob. We're gonna get down, as I said, in a moment and have a good old fucking squiz at this uh, beauty. But before we can get there, of course, nothing's fucking changed. New location, same fucking beer bogan. 
I'm going to try really hard not to get political and make any jokes about any of the uh, potential US presidential candidates. Uh, let's face it, all politicians are fucking dogs, so it doesn't matter who you choose, you're kind of fucked either way. But this one is from BrewDog and it is called Mr. President. It is a defiant double IPA. I really want to read this line in my fucking Trump impersonation, but I'm not going to get political. <laughs> <laughs> a beer destined for greatness. <laughs> I, I couldn't, I can't help myself. <laughs> That's about all it says on the can here. A beer destined for greatness. It's the best beer, the greatest beer. People say it's such a good beer. <laughs> all right, I'll stop. <laughs> uh, it's a fucking hefty one at 9.2%, uh, so it might put you to sleep like that other bloke. Um, <laughs> I said I wouldn't, I said I wouldn't do it. I've, I've fucking done it. Um, I have no fucking allegiance to either side. Fuck a lot of them. Politicians are cunts. Uh, let's just crack into it and see how this thing tastes. Uh, obviously, Brewdog are uh, over in Scotland. Let's crack it open. Let's drink a Oh, that is a thick, resinous IPA. Look at the color on that. Very amber, very clear though. On the schnoz, it's got a pretty rich IPA aroma to it, quite caramelly and hoppy, of course. Fucking cheers to new fucking frontiers, dickheads. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Very malty, this one, with the uh, the heavy booze in it there. 9.2%. You can taste it, but it's actually not as boozy as I was expecting for 9.2%. Kind of getting masked by the very herbal hop flavors. It is a, a double IPA, almost virgin on a triple IPA in that you get that real herbal tangy bite in the aftertaste there. That is a, a proper fucking India Pale Ale. Oh, it's good though. Citrus, zingy, tangy notes, and then those sort of bready, multi flavors as well. It's a strong one. If you don't like your IPAs, I'd steer clear of this one because that's going to give you a proper hoppy fucking kick. Let's pair it up with a liquid. Brought a little bit of home with me, a bit of Wolf 359 from Outer Worlds. Uh, this one is a juicy peach, tart green apple and slices of fresh pineapple. Usually goes quite well with the IPAs given the sort of citrus of the pineapple and the peach, the stone fruit usually works well with these beers. Let's fucking see. Oh, that is real nice. Bringing out some extra tropical flavors that weren't really coming through before. A little bit of sweetness too, which is nice. But yeah, the, the peach, the pineapple working perfectly with those sort of citrus hop flavors. Yeah, I'm liking that. Really giving it a, a, an extra tropical feel there, kind of almost verging on like a, a fucking hazy IPA now, getting a little bit of that more tropical flavor, turning it from a real dank, hoppy IPA into something a, a little bit more fruity. Really like that, fucking nice beer and a bloody nice vape. Anyway, dickheads, enough waffling. Let's get down the up and close, have a good squiz at this thing. We're gonna obviously talk about this glorious, gorgeous fucking mods and the craftsmanship that goes into it by Geppetto Mods. We're gonna talk about the Simi system because it is obviously uh, one of the first devices outside of the uh, Hussar uh, mods who created the Simi system. And uh, there's also the DNA 60C in here, which is pretty new. So lots to talk about. Let's get in there and have a sticky beak. All fucking righty then. So this is the packaging. Your flow will come in a lovely wooden box. Put your fucking goodies in there and it has the uh, logo and the motto, feel the wood. Uh, what is with vape products and a sexual innuendo? <laughs> Let's see what you get inside. We will get the mod of course, tank and a drip tip, a nice little leather pouch and lanyard, bag of spare o-rings, a chimney for whatever bridge you have chosen and a certificate of authenticity. But let's get into it. So I think first things first, let's just have a good old look over this absolute work of art. It is a mixture of stabilized wood and purple resin. 
There are full wood versions, or basically you're choosing your own sort of block when you order this. So you can go a full wood, you can go full acrylic, uh, or you can go these hybrid blends, and they are all just absolutely gorgeous. When I saw this purple, and uh, I'm not sure what the wood is here, but it's got that lovely ring running all the way around it. I just said that is the one for me. I love that deep rich purple and the way that it just looks like the purple's kind of bursting out or oozing out of the wood i think it just looks absolutely fucking gorgeous there is a matching purple button there and the quality on this thing is just out of this fucking world it is easily the best finished wood mod that i have ever had it's just so smooth just silky satin smooth finish to it the machining the polishing it is all just done to perfection did not disappoint at all my expectations for geppetto were very high obviously many people know from uh you know their reputation just how good their work is and uh this yeah lived up to all of my expectations absolutely fucking stunning so you've got your battery tube stainless steel down the back here your fire button up the top super comfortable in the hand it just melts into your palm you can fire it with your right you can fire it with your left it does not matter it is just as ergonomic in both hands you've got your screen here dna 60c on the bottom your battery cap your buttons positive and negative and a USB-C port there for charging and updating. Putting a battery in is super easy. It's got that plunger type system, real nice threads. Just unwind that with your fingers. Got vent holes in there already. We might as well chuck a battery in. I'm using a Ohm Life and uh, some cheeky ODB boobies on here. Love these uh, rude battery wraps. Positive end in first, and then you just screw on your battery cap, snug it up, and we're good to go. So let's have a look. Quickly, we'll run through the menu or the uh, bits and bobs on the DNA 60C. I won't go crazy detail because there's plenty of videos about the DNA 60C, but I'll just show you what Geppetto have done in terms of their own kind of layout. Obviously, you can upload and tweak uh, through eScribe and the uh, USB C port there to whatever you like, but the factory settings, you've got a battery bar up the top there, you've got the mode that you're in, the wattage underneath that, the resistance of your coil, obviously I don't have anything screwed in here at the moment, but uh, previous coil 0.8, uh, the boost, you've got a boost option with the DNA, so that's what that zero is there, I currently don't have any boost, and then you've got uh, a little G down there for Geppetto, it's also the menu select button, so if we cycle through, we can adjust the wattage, it is in one watt increments, Obviously, DNA 60 goes up to 60 watts. We can adjust the mode that we're in. So we've got watts at the moment. There's a replay mode, of course. Session, uh, stainless steel 430, nichrome 200, a titanium, stainless steel 360, and then we're back to watts. Again, you can change the profiles in eScribe if you want. We'll keep going through. You can adjust the boost. I'm gonna leave it at zero. I don't want any boost doing mouth to lung. And we keep going uh, down. We have the menu. You can check your coil. Obviously there's nothing screwed in here at the moment, so that's not going to be particularly useful. But uh, if you do have a coil in there, obviously you can read the resistance and check all that sort of stuff. Uh, if we go down to stats, tells you the temperature and your uh, battery voltage. Obviously you've got a fully charged battery, 100%. Keep going down, you've got the voltage, the amperage, the board temperature, all of that sort of stuff. You've also got about and the patent. About just tells you that it is uh, made in Poland, Geppetto Mods, as you guys may be aware, Polish made. Man, the Poles really do fucking punch hard in the vape world, making some beautiful products. Uh, and then we just go back to the main screen. So plenty of uh, you know things to tweak and change there. Obviously eScribe allows you full control, but 
uh, done a nice job on the uh, sort of tweaking of the factory settings rather than just giving you the basics that Evolve put on there. So uh, we won't spend any more time really on the board. Let's get into the semi system and the tank because uh, it's one of the first mods to uh, use the semi system. Now that is obviously a Hussar design. Um, Hussar mods came up with the semi system. I will be doing a full review on the C1 uh, mod but uh, I was really keen to do this beauty first just because it's absolutely stunning but we'll do uh, a full sort of look at the C1 and obviously that is the creator of the semi system but in principle the semi system is going to be the same across uh, any mod that uses it. What it does give you is, or the modders, it gives them the freedom to kind of do whatever they want with the shape of their tank. So the shape of the tank on the C1 is completely different to this guy. In fact, there's two tank options with the C1, but really they can do whatever they want. It's all about the connection point here. The semi system removes the bridge uh, aspect of a Boro. There is no more positive negative terminals being bridged by the, uh, the, the Boro or the RBA, it is all connected down the bottom here, positive and negative together. So you can have this beautiful, you know, open top, you can have larger, wider tanks, you can have shorter and wider tanks. And that's what you've got here, a slightly shorter tank than a regular Boro, uh, which is why you're gonna need uh, your own chimneys or special chimneys for your Boro bridges to fit in here. You will get one included with the flow. It's your choice, you let uh, Geppetto know which one you want him to include and uh, you will get it. I've got a Mob Ultra here. You can also get uh, plenty of others. Uh, I was lucky enough to receive one for the uh, the Mob MV, and uh, this one's for the Mob MS. So you're gonna uh, use this instead of the standard chimney that your Boro Bridge comes with. So how does it work? How do we get that Boro Bridge in there? Well, this beautiful acrylic tank here just pops right off. Uh, you've got a 510 drip tip in here. It does come with uh, this nice little matching clear resin or acrylic drip tip. You got your fill port over here. Probably my only gripe with this whole mod is just, I like to keep my nails really short and there's not a lot of flap here to get your nail underneath. Now it does hold eight mils of liquid uh, with a, a larger Boro bridge, with something like the Mob Ultra, you're probably getting more like uh, fucking nine or even a little more than that. I use a little flathead screwdriver just to get the, 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 the plug out. Um, but eight mils means I'm not having to refill it too often, but it is a little bit annoying. I wish there was just a little bit more of a flap there, but that is really my only gripe, is the fill port being a little bit short on the flap, but you can get it out without too much trouble. So you've got your tank here, as I said, eight mils on uh, this guy, or at least with the largest Boro bridges, you're looking at eight with some of the slimmer ones like the Mob uh, Ultra, maybe nine or 10. Anyway, the way the tank is fixed in here. So for starters, let's just uh, undo this. So you're gonna unwind this little dial here and that's gonna release the tank. All right, so we just spin this guy off. You can see the tank coming away from the base. This is essentially a, a 510 connection, 510 here, 510 here. So if you wanted to, you could in fact run uh, an RDA, sorry, RTA on here. You could run an RDA, probably hard to get your fucking mouth around it, but you could run an RTA in here if you really wanted to. You could take a tank, you could thread it on here and it will work no problems. But really, you know, it's not designed for RTAs. There are some little notches here which are going to make it look a little bit gappy and a little bit ugly. But you could, in theory, do it. So that's your 510 connection. This dial essentially spins that. You've got some beautiful engravings on the inside there, simi. And then you've got the mail connection point here. And then from this is what your, uh, you know, bridge is going to thread into. So we can just take the tank off. The top here, it's just fixed with O-rings. We're just gonna gently remove this so we don't end up cracking our tank or anything. That comes away from there. I've had no issues with this tank coming off during use. It is really nice and snug. I've got a bit of uh, PGVG on there just to lube it up when I'm taking it on and off. I don't wanna fucking, uh, you know, crack it. But this is your base. This is what your bridge is going to thread into. You've got airflow holes on either side, which is going to allow air to get in through the bottom of your bridge. You're going to take your bridge. Now, 
one of the uh, specification requirements for use with the semi system is you're going to need a boro bridge that has some exposed 510 threads down the bottom here. Bridges that don't have like a little you know cover over the 510 threads with a bit sticking out the bottom are not going to work in here. Boro RBAs that have their own tank and don't fit into a standard boro tank are not going to work either. Um, if your bridge has an adapter, you know, instead of a 510 threading here, it's not going to work in here. It's got to have some exposed threads. So like the Mob Ultra, you've got some exposed threads there. You've got an O-ring on the inside. That is going to wrap around here just like a, a normal Boro tank is. But the difference is you're going to thread in your bridge. And it doesn't need a lot of threads sticking out, you know. Just a few threads will be enough to secure it and you'll get a really solid connection. But you just thread it in there like you would if you were you know putting it on a, a normal mod to pulse and pinch it the difference is uh, this pin here is now connected to the pin in the uh, bottom of your bridge and the threads are now connected to the base here so you've got your positive and your negative terminals connected at the bottom there is no more need for any you know terminal connection in the uh, the bridge chimney which is the big difference here and then you just take it and uh, you would screw it on to your base. You've got a couple of little holes in the bottom here, a couple of little notches in the platform there, and they are gonna make sure everything's sitting nice and straight. So you're gonna take the base, you're gonna apply a little bit of pressure down and then just turn our wheel, and that is going to thread the base into the mod itself, giving you a really nice solid connection unlike other traditional Bora devices where you can have connection issues because you're bridging the top and the bottom. You don't have that here. Everything's really solid and locked in. Now, if I didn't have a wick in there already, you could essentially pulse and pinch this, uh, you know, build your coil from scratch. So if you're going away on a fucking holiday, you don't have to take a second mod with you to, you know, refresh your cotton and coils. Uh, you can do that all in the one device. You're going to take your chimney. Now, it's obviously this shortened chimney because, as I said, it's not designed for standard uh, length boro bridges. You've got these little short stubby chimneys. And then we're going to take our tank and just pop that on. And as I said, I've had no issues with this guy coming apart. Everything is really nice and snug. You could be holding it by the tank. Zero issues at all uh, with this being held on here just via um, O-rings. The uh, C1 the uh, the semi mod from Hussar has a little lock-in system um, but in this case it really isn't necessary it all fits together beautifully we're going to fill this up with liquid now and uh, that sort of slight frosted look on the tank uh, will turn a beautiful clear so uh, let's just whack a bit of liquid in and there we go I reckon nine mils of liquid with this small slim mob ultra I'm going to swap out the drip tip that is included and uh, pop in this little MTL monarchy number which i've been really enjoying but i mean now you got liquid in there you guys can see just how crystal clear that tank is and you can see your bridge almost like what is that like a 300 degree view of your bridge really fucking nice really shows off your bridge if you've got something a little bit special a bit pretty it's going to give you a real nice fucking view of your Boro RBA. Oh, that just clear all the way around. No more bridge. No more flush nut connection issues. There is this little nut in here which secures the, the inside piece, but again, has nothing to do with connections or anything. It is all happening down here in this semi terminal. It gives modders the freedom to make really the, the tank now, because it's all in the base. Uh, you can make it any fucking shape you like. Uh, you can make the base any shape you like. The only thing that you have to really make sure you're doing the same as the semi system uses is the, the thread system. The spinny wheel with the spinny 510 terminal and the 510 threads for your boro bridge to go into. It can be any shape uh, you want to do. So loads of different incarnations uh, coming with different modders doing different things, which is super exciting. Really fucking just love this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, look, I could sit here and gush on this mod for uh, another fucking 20 minutes, but uh, really not necessary. Just 
It's just a piece of fucking art, but super functional, stunning form. And that's about it, dickhead. So uh, let's jump back up top. Let's talk pros, cons, prices, and everything fucking else. So there you go, dickheads. An absolutely fucking out of this world, beautiful mod. You know, words really don't fucking do it justice. This thing is just absolutely fair dinkum stunning. It is so fucking well put together. Let's, let's just get into the pros and cons. <laughs> you can probably guess this. <laughs> Not a whole lot of cons on this fucker. Really, it is going to be pro skis. Uh, we've got the semi system. Obviously, for me, big pro ski. I'm going to talk a bit more about what I like about the semi system when I do the Hussar C1 review, because that is obviously the creator of the semi system. But I really do like it better connection, more stable connection. Love the fact that the tank doesn't have to have a, a fucking piece of metal going across the top of it. It really frees up the creativity for different modders. And I think that uh, Geppetto here have really taken advantage of that by giving you this, what is that? Almost like a 300 degree view of your tank. You can look through the top, you can look through the sides. It's, it's just fucking beautiful. Obviously, the whole design of this mod in terms of the shape and the machining, just ridiculously good. It has well and truly exceeded my expectations for Geppetto mods. I'd seen plenty of mods on the internet. I'd held a few Geppettos uh, at various shows, but never owned one. And this definitely lives up to everything that I expected. The craftsmanship is just absolutely fucking stunning. The, the finish on this wood, beautiful. The, the choice of woods, the, the various blocks that you've got to choose from. Uh, I was lucky enough to get to choose this guy and just this, the rings on this fucking wood and the way that it's so beautifully finished, the smoothness in your hand, it's just absolutely fucking beautiful. Uh, it really is. The placement of the fire button, the shape of the mod, the way that it fits in my hand, it just it just wants to sit there. doesn't matter whether it's left or right. It just sits in your palm. It almost becomes part of your hand, the way it just it fits beautifully uh, into your paw. Absolutely fucking uh, the most ergonomic Boro device that I have ever had for sure. The way that the tank kind of just it almost emerges from the uh, the wooden uh, base of the mod. Beautiful, absolutely fucking beautiful. All of the machining on the metal parts, perfect. The the wheel at the bottom, so good. The fucking uh, the, the the semi system, being able to remove your tank uh, very easily, being able to pulse and pinch your coils on the mod. So if you go away on a holiday or something, and you're taking you know, a Boro device, you don't have to have a separate mod when you wanna refresh your wicks and pulse and pinch your coils. You can do that on the fucking mod itself. Big, big pro ski there. Obviously DNA 60C, really liking that new DNA board. For me, it's worked perfectly, no issues whatsoever. Now it's not very often that you have a mod or a Boro mod that actually affects the way that your bridge performs. Normally you put a bridge in a fucking Boro mod and it doesn't really matter what mod it is, it's gonna perform the same. With this guy, because of the shortened chimney that you're gonna get, depending on what bridge you go for, you're gonna have a specific chimney for it, it does actually affect the way this thing vapes. I do notice a little bit of a flavor bump compared to this bridge in a standard Boro, just a little bit shorter chimney. It's a little bit more punchy. There's a little bit more flavor than what I typically get. So that is a nice little fucking bonus, not just the mod itself in its performance and aesthetics and build quality, but the performance of your bridge will be a little bit better in terms of uh, flavor. Love the way the positive and negative buttons are hidden on the base. Everything's kind of tucked away nicely. The build quality, as I've already said, is just stunning the threads on that battery cap, fucking just perfect. The little attention to detail, the matching uh, fire button there, love that, the, the purple contrast in the wood. Yeah, fucking just gorgeous. So what else do I have to fucking say? I mean, I could sit here and gush on this thing for a lot longer, but uh, <laughs> I won't fucking uh, put you through that. Do also like USB-C 
available there for charging and updating uh, your, uh, your DNA 60C. That's a nice little pro. But what do I have to fucking complain about here? Honestly, nothing major. The only thing, there's two little things. One thing, obviously, that's more specific to this mod, I wish the fill port cap had a little bit more, um, you know, silicon sticking out, a little bit more of a flap. She needs a bit more of a flap, Geppetto. And I do struggle to get this silicon cap out. Not a big deal. Eight mils of fucking liquid, probably nine with this bridge, means that I'm not refilling it very often. So I don't mind that uh, I have to, you know, kind of dig in there a bit or use a, a screwdriver or something. But I would have liked just a little bit more of a flap there to kind of make that a bit easier. But that's about really the only little frustration I have. The only other thing that I can mention, and for me, it doesn't bother me at all, but with the Simi system, and this isn't something to the, uh, the this you know, you know, Geppetto mod, but you are limited to Boro bridges that have a 510 thread sort of sticking out from the bottom. It doesn't need to be much, but uh, if you don't have 510 threads, if your Boro bridge needs an adapter to pulse and pinch the coils, it's not gonna work in this guy. If your Boro bridge has its own tank, Again, not going to work in this Boro mod. It is specifically going to work with uh, Boro bridges with the 510 threads uh, on the bottom there. But apart from that, yeah, really nothing to fucking whinge about here. You know what you're getting when you get into something like this. A little pro that I forgot to uh, add, I did mention the eight mils of liquid. If you've got a big Boro bridge, it's going to be eight mils. If you've got a small one like the Mob Ultra, it's probably going to be nine, maybe even more. But yeah. Huge capacity for a Boro, definitely handy, not having to fill this thing up as often as you would on others. So, what is this pretty little purple lady gonna fucking set you back? Well, as I said at the start of the video, if you're into budget products, Geppetto, doesn't matter what it is, it's not gonna be for you. This thing is one of the most expensive devices that I have been privileged enough to be sent. You are looking at a eye-watering 750 euros, which is about 800 US dollars, about 640 British pounds. So yeah, there's a reason that I haven't picked up a Geppetto with my own dosh. <laughs> and that's simply because I'm fucking married and uh, Claire would not be fucking too impressed if I uh, was outlaying that kind of cash for a mod. So uh, yeah, it's not gonna be for the budget conscious. There are also some slightly more expensive blocks depending on the wood that you go for, but for the sort of standard wood options, you're looking at, yeah, 750 euros. That includes uh, one chimney of your choice, depending on what bridge you wanna use it with. If you wanna get extra chimneys, they're 15 euros each, which really is fairly insignificant when you're, <laughs> when you're buying the mod. So yeah, uh, one of the most expensive devices. Is it fucking worth it? You cunts have got to make up your own bloody mind. What I will say is that it is by far the nicest finished stabilized wood mod that I've ever had. There is nothing that I've had previously that is as well fucking done as this in terms of the ergonomics, the fit, the feel, the shape of it, the design, uh, but obviously the craftsmanship. It, it far exceeds everything that uh, I have previously had uh, in a sort of stabilized wood mod. So yeah. You know, they're manufactured in Europe. That's going to fucking always put the price up. And Geppetto, they are the Rolls Royce of uh, you know mods. So yeah, with that comes the price tag. But you can't make up your own bloody mind if you think it's absolute insanity. Uh, at the end of the day, I am very grateful to be able to share this with you and uh, tell you my thoughts. How do you fucking get one? Well, they are a fancy pants, high-end, la-di-da, bloody mod. So uh, it is the usual Facebook group. And then there's a Google form when they do uh, openings, usually about 10 or 15 or so at a time. So you gotta be in lickety split if you wanna get one. You do get to choose your own block if you're fast enough. And uh, those that are, are on order will get daily updates via a special group showing you the progress of your mod, which is kind of extra special. So uh, yeah, you do have a little bit more of a fucking involvement in your product rather than just picking it off a fucking website. So uh, yeah, not cheap, but a uh, few extra little fucking uh, things you get when you're buying something as bloody nice as this. So uh, with that dickheads, it's probably time for me to bugger off. But as usual, I'll put the Instagram and Facebook links down in the description if you wanna see what this Muppet gets up to outside YouTube videos. If you wanna support the channel, 
as always, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, share the video around, always fucking helps us YouTubers out, because as you know, YouTube are a bunch of fuckers when it comes to the algorithms. But if you really want to keep me behind the lens and think about becoming a Patreon, I do a special vlog on there once a week you won't see here on YouTube, as well as access to my little Patreon community. We've got a Facebook group, I do giveaways from time to time and that sort of thing. Uh, and those fuckers keep me behind the lens. So a big fucking cheers. But if you can't, that's all good. Sit back, sub home your fucking dicks off, all your bloody tits off. Couldn't give a shit what it is you're vaping on, whether it's 750 euros and the fucking most premium mod that uh, you could get, or it's uh, seven fucking 50 euros. <laughs> as long as you're not banging the bloody bungers, that's all that matters. Cheers for tuning in. Cheery fucking oh.